Well, hey there guys, my name is Wakefield Trainload and welcome back to part 2 of the 1-1 collection 45379, which is the Class BR5MT. Yeah, Hornby have sent this at the time of me filming this, this morning. And the time is now half past four, so this is a few, or a fair few hours after I received this. Last episode we looked at the front, side, top, bottom... And the back. And, um, yeah. That was the chair. It's an old chair I'm sitting on. Now we're getting into the most fun part of all. The unboxing. So let's do it. Um, one thing I can say with my previous models is that the sleeve of this outer packaging is a hell of a lot easier to remove than my uh, J50 and the... Um, South East Chatham Railway Class H that I received. In fact, I opened it yesterday. It took me um, a good minute to open it up without daring to break the locomotive. Still in one piece. And here is... Well, I want to show you something first. First time I've ever got this. A certificate of authenticity. Uh, this is what you get. Yeah, this is what you get. Generally, full size of it. Long, it's about the same. It looks like a train ticket. I, oh my god, this is absolutely amazing. And right here in the corner it says, This model is one of limited limited production run of a thousand, and I've got 305. So yeah, relatively low in the range. I'm the 305th person to get this. Um, yeah, which is absolutely amazing. They sold out quickly on the first run. Oh, wait, no, they didn't. I was thinking of something else. Sorry. Uh, certificate for authenticity. I will read it out. The 1-1 one, one collection... Oh, no, wait. Sorry, I've already read this bit. The second bit says, This certified 1,000-piece limited edition model of the Black 5, number 45379, is presented as can be currently seen... It oh, right. Uh, yeah, I've read that as well. <laughs> um, there's a copyright... Copyright... Yeah, copyright... Locomotive Storage Limited 2019. The R number R R3805. The 11 Collection Museum Margate. Oh, one. Okay. So before we get into the uh, beast itself, I have opened this already, but you have the tender rigging and the locomotive rigging, whichever one it is. Put them to the side. You get a uh, you get a tension lock coupling. Whatever these things are called. These aren't your normal NEM couplings, or it might be a spare coupling for the back, actually. I don't know. And uh, you get the uh, and you get the front steps, which I'm not going to bother with, because I think you need super glue. And you have a screw for something. Now, I will find out whether it's a spare screw or not. Because I don't know, but if ever you get anything that you're not sure of, if it's a spare screw or spare headlight, whatever it is, you'll want to keep it. You'll want to keep it. No excuses, you've got to keep it. Um, two more bits of paper. First of all, I'd like to show you the uh, Black 5 step and brake rod assembly. This is very, very useful. This is how to add in the, the front steps, as shown. And right here is how to add the tender rigging, which is here, and the locomotive rigging, which is there. Now, um, I'm not going to bother with that yet until the locomotive is fully DCC fitted. And the other part right here... Wait, what did I just do? Ah, sorry. The other part right here is the Operating Maintenance and Instructions Manual. Here it is. Class 5, Locomotive and Tender, Operating Instructions Maintenance. Yeah, I will, of course, read them. Not as exciting as this, though. Inside this ice cube packaging is the Black 5. Let's get her open. Now, the Black 5s in general are one hell of a beast of locomotives. They will do anything, go anywhere, and I need somewhere to put this thing on so it doesn't scratch the surface. I'll use the operating and instructions maintenance as one bit. Oh, no, wait. No, it's all right. Yeah, I'll, I'll go. I'll use the um, operating instructions manual. So, uh, here... We have the actual locomotive. Let's open it up carefully, of course. This is limited edition. 
come on. Let's get both of them because they were attached. There you go. And there we go. In hand appraisal is absolute bloody quality. It actually is. Uh, straight away you get a metal reverser rod which is absolutely amazing. Let's go through the locomotive as it is. Here it is. Here's the front. Looks like a black five. And if we go across here like this, you see... I don't, know if the, I don't know if you can see, the camera is picking it up, but the uh, shed code is 1A, where it was withdrawn. Willisden. Um, you get the uh, smoke box number, 45379. You get the uh, door darts. I don't really want to open this, even if it does open. Uh, you get separately fitted parts, such as the dart, the rails up there. You get the steam pipe, and of course, sprung buffers. Why wouldn't you not get sprung buffers, especially on this model? Now, um, for those who don't know the Black Fives in general, I will tell you them as we look all over the locomotive. The Black Fives were first introduced in 1934 by Sir William Stanier for mixed traffic purposes, and they were also, and they could also cope with the Royal Scot passenger trains, with their, uh, with their ability to be very very strong. Now the Black Fives weren't as strong as the uh, uh, weren't as strong as the Princess class which came before it, nor the uh, Foul uh, what do you call it? Patriots and the Royal Scots. They had less power, but they could do it. They could pull the Royal Scots, and um, I can't remember if I mentioned this. 842 were built. Might have said that. If so, I apologise. Um, some were domed, some weren't domed. Mine is domed. I have another Black 5. I uh, I don't want to get to it right now because it will just waste the video. Um, it resembles the old railroad Black 5, which is 5112. You'll see a hell of a difference between that and that. And... Um, Right here you get the typical Stania later boiler. It's not called a parallel, I think it's called a tapered boiler. Alright, where it just slopes down. And you get the firebox, large firebox as you can see. And the 462 wheel uh, 460 wheel arrangement. And right here, down here, you can see. Yeah, the camera is picking it up. Well, I can't see that bit. That's, I think that's the shed code, not shed code, the builder's plate. Uh, but there's electrification on the lines up there. My Black 5, does it? Does it have mouldings for the, uh, oh no. Um, these things I thought would have mouldings for the uh, steam pipes are going, but given that my model doesn't have steam pipes, it doesn't show the mouldings. Um, yeah, you get the uh, Walshut's valve gear right here. And, uh, well, all these locomotives will go anywhere, do anything. They were seen all over the LMS system. And um, withdrawal started in 1961, I think. And all of them were all withdrawn in 1968. August 1968, their last, they were the last passenger locomotives in the United Kingdom. When diesels took over, they were the uh, some of these were the very last to pull passenger trains. Obviously not this one, because this was withdrawn in 1965, as I said in the first part, and was to be scrapped at Barry Scrapyard, but luckily it was restored. And... Um, Talking of uh, talking of preserved, eighteen of these examples are preserved, and one of them I love from the bottom of my heart because one of them I got to ride one. Well, not ride. I wish. Well, yeah, ride as well. Riding uh, coaches. I was um, I was on board number four four nine three two, built in nineteen forty five, and I was even allowed inside the cab at one time. Now that was an experience and a half, and uh, oh, it absolutely was. Blew me away, absolutely blew me away. 
let's move on to the tender. We've seen the locomotive. Oh, wait. We haven't seen the locomotive inside, so if you just move out of the way, Mr. Tender. The cab, I don't know if you can see, is pretty detailed. In fact, let me just have a, a look myself. Uh, the cab detail's not too bad. All it is, it's just... All it is, it's just copper paintwork and all that lot. But that can easily be forgiven. And, uh, hang on, what's this? Some sort of box here. I don't know what that's for. Unless that's... Oh, well, it better not be freaking glue marks. I don't know. Oh, I don't know what that is. Uh... Oh yeah, I think I do. I think it's just the glazed window packaging. Here we have the very famous Lake Crest in the tender. And the coal load, I'm not sure if it is removable, but I don't want to remove it because it's a perfect load. You get these things on the back, water tank. And if we look at the back of the locomotive, we can see number 4000. I think that was how much. I think that was the amount built at that time. LMS. Can't read that. Mr. Camera, can you pick that up? You're not going to, are you? Oh, well, never mind. It says something there. So, all in all, the Black Fives are beautiful. What do I think of this model? I'll still have to run it in, but without a doubt, I'll give it a 10. Full 10. Yeah, uh, the camera's running out of power now. Thank you very, very much, everyone, and I shall see you next time.